Our protocol is significant as it expands on current methods of producing a biodegradable, naturally occurring biomaterial. Our method emphasizes production of reproducible bacterial cellulose spheres. The main advantage of this technique is the ease of access to the necessary materials, sugar, water, tea, vinegar, bacterial culture starter, a buffalo flask, and an orbital shaker. Someone performing this technique for the first time may not be able to correctly identify the spheres and remove irregular bacterial cellulose masses. We have demonstrated these steps in the video, but do not be discouraged if it does not work the first time. Visual demonstration of this method is usually helpful for researchers to visualize what the sizes, amounts, and shapes of bacterial cellulose masses are preferred and not preferred. Begin by boiling 350 milliliters of deionized water using a tea kettle, then transfer the hot water to a 500 milliliter beaker. Use heat protection gloves and make sure that the glassware can withstand the boiling water temperatures. Completely dissolve 42.5 grams of granulated sucrose into the hot water using a stir rod. Steep a bag with 2.54 grams of black tea in the flask containing sucrose solution for one hour. Remove the tea bag with a stir rod without breaking it open and dispose of it in the trash. Add 100 milliliters of distilled white vinegar to the beaker and thoroughly stir the mixture. Transfer 80 milliliters of the prepared acidic tea mixture to a 250 milliliter baffle flask and allow the tea mixture to cool to 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Add 20 milliliters of microbial starter culture liquid to the baffled flask when the liquid is at room temperature and cover the flask with